Welcome to Weeping Willow Homestead. Today I have a food pantry haul for you. This is our county food pantry that allows you to come in twice a month. Once is what they call commodities day, which is a you get what you get kind of situation. Um, you don't get to pick and choose. And then the other day was today's, which was you got to choose what you wanted so you get to shop. So they'll have like a shelf of canned goods that you get to pick so many vegetables off of, so many fruits. Um, they usually have a section with like cereals, breakfast items. Um, they always have a shelf of produce and it's usually take as much as you want because they always have lots of it. Bread is usually um, a couple things of bread or and one dessert or, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, that was today. And I'm just going to jump right in and show you what we got. Let's start over here as usual. Uh, you got to pick out kind of like some snacky stuff. And my kids have really, really liked this um, cherry dark chocolate. Um, and I can, I usually end up breaking one whole bar and splitting it between my five kids. So that works out great. They had their baby um, things again. So I picked up some more of those squeezy pouches that my two-year-old just thinks are amazeballs. Uh, some non-food items. They had some kids multivitamins. They have, this is on a shelf of a bunch of different stuff like hand sanitizer, soaps. Um, sometimes they'll have like dishwashing detergent, those kind of things. So um, I just picked, grabbed a couple of those because yeah, why not? Um, let's scooch down here. I picked up these two um, seeded pumpkin bread. Uh, this is something that I will just throw the whole loaf in the freezer and then my kids for breakfast can pull out a slice or two of this. There's always muffins, um, anything like that. Uh, I will just throw in the freezer and they can pull one out and they will toast it and then throw some cream cheese or peanut butter or something like that on it. Uh, the same thing was with these. Um, I thought these would work for breakfast as well. And then they're not quite so big as a regular bagel. For dessert, I chose this lemon sliced loaf cake, but while I wasn't looking, the volunteer that was helping us threw these in as well. Um, so, the, and the kids actually ate some of those on the way home. Totally fine, we'll use them. And then my intention for the lemon cake was to also throw that in the freezer and they can pull out one slice of that to have with breakfasts. Canned goods, you got to pick out four vegetables. So I did, these each counted as one and one. Um, and I just thought for those times when um, we have leftovers for lunch and we don't have a whole lot of leftover vegetables, I thought these would be great because it's something that I can pull out just one of them and a couple of kids can split it or can have the whole thing. Um, so I just thought those would be very helpful. This would also be something that's great for um, if you have a, a work out of the home job. These would be so nice for taking in your lunchbox. Um, because they're, it says right on there that they're microwavable. So um, I just thought those would be super convenient um, for that specific task for us. The other two vegetables I chose were black beans because that's something that we use quite often for stretching taco meat. Uh, I picked out, we could pick out one fruit, so I picked out canned applesauce. I like the fact that it was unsweetened. We picked up a thing of tortilla chips because I needed some of those. This is something I we don't normally do cereal for breakfast because if I do cereal for breakfast, my kids are hungry an hour later and begging for something else. So my thought with this is that we have picked up some cereal in the past and I put it in with the kids' snack box and they can have a bowl of cereal for snack at 3 o'clock in the afternoon when it's just a snack. It doesn't have to stick with them quite so long. We always try to do breakfast where we do protein, a fruit, and a grain is my my breakfast formula that I tell them, okay, you can have, you know, like a slice of that bread, a spoonful of peanut butter, and a piece of fruit, um, and then that counts as breakfast. So um, I picked up those because they were a sugar-free drink mix that my husband and I can both have, and that flavor just sounded delicious. Uh, two jars of peanut butter because my kids go through this like it's going out of style. I could pick up four other canned items, and I chose to pick up four of these um, 
chicken because this is what I use to make my low carb chicken nuggets. You can also use it for chicken salad, open up a can and throw it in the soup. These are so convenient and canned meat is really expensive these days. So um, I'm jumping on that when I can. Uh, we got to pick a meat and because we're a large family, they let me pick out of the large um, things instead of like a pound of ground beef they would do this or they had chicken leg quarters and I chose chicken wings because chicken wings are something that I never buy because of that because to feed all of us I would have to have at least two of these so um, by doing by buying one pack and then I will make like this and hot dogs or this and something else um, maybe brats or something like that where we kind of do like a grill um, finger food nights, that kind of thing. So I'm going to swing back here, trying not to make y'all dizzy. There is a container of uh, leftover baked beans from Walmart, and they had mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, corn, several of those. So I picked the baked beans because I knew that was something my kids would eat. And then I chose this as kind of the second meat, meat food option. Um, and it has pepperoni, salami, crackers, and then two kinds of cheese. And I just thought, oh, that right there, I will probably go ahead and make the tray without the crackers on it and throw it in the refrigerator and then the kids can eat on that for lunches for a couple of days and would, would work great. There is a gallon of 2% milk, a ginger soy veggies and noodles with sauce kit. And I looked at this, the noodles and the sauce are separate so honestly, I picked this up for the vegetables. Um, I might end up using the noodles for the kids, um, but more than likely I will saute all of those vegetables and do something else with it because the noodles, I guess I should preface this by saying my husband and I have to eat low carb. Um, the noodles and the sauce will be high in carb. I can guarantee this is probably like crazy high. Yeah, two cups is 22 grams. That's half of my carbs for a day. So, um, but having those vegetables already cut up and ready to go, I will have no issue with throwing away the sauce packet and the noodles and just using the vegetables as a easy side dish for this week. Lovely. There are a dozen eggs that I have upside down. We have chickens, but they are slowing down for the fall. As we lose daylight, chickens lay less eggs and over winter, unless you supplement light, they will completely quit laying. So um, that is a beneficial for us because yeah, we'll use them. <coughs> Sorry. They had iceberg lettuce that's kind of on its way out. So I picked up a couple of those and it's organic. I mean, fancy. And then a bag of what are called seconds carrots because they're like ginormous or tiny or misshapen or broken. That's why they're called seconds. And um, they will get used in my house either way. I'll use them. Okay. Uh, the other thing is down here. They keep feeding my sparkling water addiction, y'all. Uh, you were supposed to get seven bottles of water, which we did. I didn't, I forgot to put those over here. And then seven other drink items. Some of these were outside on a table where it's a you can take as much as you want situation. Um, but then she knows that I like the sparkling water and no one else ever takes it. She goes, nobody takes this. And so anytime that I'm in there and they have kind of a, a backlog of sparkling water, she gives me extra. And so that's what this was, is that I was supposed to only get seven drinks, but she loaded up. They're all sparkling water. Water. Some of them are the caffeinated that my husband likes. And then she also gave me two of these six packs of just plain sparkling water, mineral water, sparkling mineral water, fancy water. Um, so I was just tickled pink because, yeah, this is my soda alternative. Um, so I was, I was not complaining about getting those. So, yeah. So yeah, that is everything. Um, once again, huge blessing. Um, looking forward to like not making lunch for a couple of days and having some fresh salad. I love, I love salad. Y'all know I love me some salad. So yeah. Um, and then having these kind of things, these convenience things on my kids being able to essentially make their own breakfast. My oldest two can fry their own eggs. Um, I always keep 
yeah, easy, those kind of breakfasts to just throw at them, and then we get to move on with our day and get started on school and chores and whatnot. So, yeah, always a huge blessing. Very excited to get this. I am going to go quickly put all of this away, and then it is almost 1 o'clock, and my kids are squalling for lunch. So, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye and God bless.